Hi and welcome to Blender Clinic. Today I'm going to be uh, talking to you very, very quickly, very briefly, about how to create um, grass and objects moving through grass. So um, it's really simple. Um, I say that, but uh, I just managed to screw it up last time. So <laughs> I've got so little time. So I'm, I'm, um, I've wanted to do this a week ago. I just haven't had a minute. So I'm kind of going to rush through this one. Um, bum, 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 bum. Just setting something up. Great. Okay, so let's move over to the thing. Right, so particle hair. I tried doing this. Uh, part, I, I tried doing particle hair, particle grass. I tried doing this with geometry nodes because geometry nodes is the new hotness, but I didn't find a satisfactory solution to, uh, to do this uh, without really having to work hard. So... I'm just going to show you the traditional way of doing it. So I'm going to create a plane. I've scaled it up. I'm going to be sure to apply the scale, go into edit mode, and I'm just going to subdivide this. I'm going to subdivide it by 100. That's not important. It's just a number. Um, in fact, I don't even know. I don't think that that actually has any bearing on this. Um, but, you know, I did it. So there we go. I'm going to add a particle system to it. I'm going to change the particle system to hair. I'm going to scale down the length of the hair. And, uh, yeah, that's it. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> I'm going to take the uh, blade o grass, the blade of grass object, and I'm going to go and add a modifier, a particle instance modifier, and I'm going to choose our emitter and particle system, tick create along paths. Now we've got a lovely field of grass. I'm going to roll that down, turn up the random on the rotation, and yeah, as you can see, we, we have a lovely field of grass. Um, if we go back to our particle system, we could increase the density and do all sorts there. In fact, we could turn on children, simple, um, simple children, just like mine. They have my genes, so they must be simple. Uh, <laughs> it got weird fast. Um, but we can create a bit of variety in, um, in this. Um, and then what we can do is actually let's take this the children down a, a notch uh, by calling them names and insulting their intelligence. Uh, sorry, being random. And then basically go back to your blade particle instance settings and tick children on there. And now you've got children. Great. So that's how we can sort of affect the density. Um, I'm going to turn the children off for now because frankly I need the performance, not uh, not the density. So I, I basically am trying to play it back in rather quickly do this and I don't want it to have to to wait at all to simulate I need real-time feedback so I'm going to create a sphere I'm going to auto keyframe move forward a couple of frames move it over here move it over there and move it over here again and yeah I will trim my animation turn off auto keying as you can see, we're going to. Be, it's uh, it's kind of the balls beginning to fly there towards it. No, it's not. It was just my perspective. Okay, so good, lovely. Uh, going to go to my physics settings, change that to a collision object. I'm going to go back to my particle system and turn on hair dynamics. Um, and then all we need to do is hit play, and hopefully we should get something cool. As you can see, not bad. Uh, something else we could do is add in. A collider mesh for the floor. Um, I'm just going to move that down, apply the scale, turn on collision, and hopefully this will stop the hair going, the particle hairs going through the floor. You've got to be careful though, if you put it so it intersects the hairs, um, then it will um, it will make it will trigger them and they will start swishing around and looking nuts. I'm going to add a force field. Wind, rotate it, move it out of the way, and I'm going to turn up the strength to two. And now you can see we've got a bit of wind. Actually, I'm going to take the strength back down to 1.3 maybe, um, and I'll put the noise up to six. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to take that strength back down to 5. Point, point 0.5, sorry. Let me reduce the noise. Um, I wonder if we could use a bit of turbulence, actually. So 
So we've got a turbulence field here. Turn this up to four. Change it to plane. So it's got a bit of life in it, and our ball is quite happily smushing the grass around. Um, now would be a good time to uh, add some more density, but we're not going to do it by just dialing up the particle system. We're going to actually copy our particle system. So we're going to create and hit the plus sign to get a new system there. And then we're going to reference the first system again, but we're going to make it a separate copy. So we get most of the settings back from the first system. Um, we'll turn on hair dynamics. We'll change the seed ever so slightly. And then with our blade grass, we're going to duplicate this. And I'm just going to turn off the particle instancing for a second. And I'm going to create a new material. So I'm going to uh, change this material one, I guess. Or not. Why, why do it that way? Just get rid of the material and create a new one. Uh, so I can't accidentally screw this up. I'll make it blue just so we can see the difference. Um, what you'd actually do here is you, you might take, uh, you know, so a, a totally different model of grass, so you've got some variety, and you could do this as many times as you need to. Uh, turn on your particle instancing, change the particle system to the second particle system, and go back to the start of our animation. And now we're getting some variety, we're getting some density, and it all works. So that's it, really. Um, I don't know what else uh, to suggest, other than, you know, if, if unless you're going for a nice stylized look, I would recommend that you, uh, you know, you get some nice high-poly grass models, all of that jazz, bake the animation out so that it will play back a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, don't go too high-poly because the performance will be affected. Um, hopefully not too massively. The particle instance modifiers should be... Um, should be quite fast but yeah that's that's it that's how i'd go about doing it um and you know if you're using a character i might just use uh, a cube or something around them as the collider um so that it's not over uh overdoing it or just a, a simplified mesh of some sort but yeah uh, that's that's how i go about creating particle grass uh hopefully that answers uh, you know this was a question on youtube and hopefully <laughs> the uh this answers that question and uh yeah I'm going to stop waffling and bid you adieu. This has been Blender Clinic, over and out.